To Butler and Warren County news now where a Middletown woman faces charges after Butler County dog wardens found four dogs dead in her backyard, one of those decapitated. Today, Nine on Your Side spoke with the woman who's now charged with animal cruelty in this case. Nine on Your Side's Brianna Malloy is live at the neighborhood where these dogs were found. And what we want to ask Brianna is what else has the sheriff's office released about how these dogs were treated? Well, it really is a gruesome story all the way around. The sheriff's office tell us that at least three of these dogs died from starvation. As for that fourth dog that was decapitated, the sheriff's office said they were not able to determine a cause of death because there just wasn't enough left of the dog to run tests on. Now, we were able to speak to the woman who was charged today shortly after she got out on bail. Neighbor Victoria Sharp is a big animal lover. We volunteer at a rescue. So knowing that that can happen just two doors down really hurts and really affects me. She met Tina Marie Jackson's American Bulldogs once when they escaped Jackson's backyard. They didn't look like they were being malnourished or abused. Now her regret is returning them. I can't put it into words. It hurts really, really bad knowing that we could have kept them here or found them homes. We spoke to Tina Marie Jackson shortly after she was bailed out of jail. She didn't have an explanation for the decapitated dog head. How it happened, I do not know in the body. I don't know where it is. Jackson showed us her backyard. She said these crates were left over from when she helped her ex-husband board and breed dogs. These bowls caked in spaghetti show the last meals the dogs ate. Where I was feeding spaghetti and scraps and trying to feed what I had, you know. But eventually, she says she stopped feeding the dogs because she didn't have the money. I wasn't getting my income that I was supposed to be getting, and I was barely making it to even feed my kids. Next door, Sharp says if that were the case, all she needed to do was ask. I'm sure if they would have asked any of the neighbors or anybody, really, somebody would have been nice enough to feed them and take care of the animals for them. And there is one surviving dog as well. It's currently being taken care of by Joseph's legacy. In Middletown, Brianna Malloy, 9 on your side.